Is there a finer sight in all the land? Sun's just about to come up. This field has recently been ploughed along with the next one, so I'm going to give it a right old bashing for about two to three hours this morning. Just as well, I'm only 300 yards from my house. Thought I had my pro pointer in here. I haven't got it. So I'm gonna go back to the house and get it. God damn. First dig of the day yields a clog strap. This will be used to keep shoes or clogs shut. It's got a hook there. This will be attached to one side of the shoe. You'd clasp it over, keep them tight. That's reading a solid 11.41 Well, maybe it's not too solid. Solid one way. But we're going to give it a dig anyway. Well, it does actually look like a coin of some sort. Um, exceptionally corroded. And I think the chances of me getting anything off that are fairly slim. But it's a coin nonetheless. Now this one's reading 1237 both ways. And it's right on the top. And it looks like a silver coin. It is a silver coin, which is nice. It's a Queen Victoria, three pence from 1867. Very good, first proper coin, and it's silver. Not in very good condition, but um, that's a reasonable find. Certainly saved this hunt because I found hardly anything at all. Here's another signal right on the top. Not sure whether you can see that. I'll zoom in. Looks like a musket ball to me. Yep, great big musket ball, right on the top. Right on the top, that one. Hopefully it'll bring me good luck. I'm gonna stick it in a tree, facing that way up, so the luck can't run out. It's reading 11.42 to 11.44. Same that way, and it says it's about six inches deep. Well, it wasn't six inches deep, so it must be a small target.
It is a small target and it looks like another coin. Another old, very knackered coin, which I'm not going to get any detail off at all. There's an old clay pipe. Unfortunately, it's broken. It's a bit of a bummer. TW is the name on the side there. And it's got a heart. Probably had a heart on the other side as well. Shame that's not a whole one. Absolutely knackered. It's an old penny of some sort, possibly Victorian. This one's reading 11.43. And it says it's right near the top. Oh, get in there. Or to borrow a phrase from Deep Digger Dan, get in. It's another Victorian silver, and this one is a shilling. My hands are so cold I can hardly even move them. Yep, yeah, it's got a bit tarnish on it, but that'll come off. And the date on that looks like 1839. So that's quite an old one. I'll get that cleaned up, it should come up okay. It's got a bit of wear on it, but uh, it's a nice reasonable size silver coin. I'm pleased with that. This one's reading another 1235. And again, it's right near the top. Probably too much to ask for for it to be another silver or even another coin because it's a big old lump of lead. <laughs> now, here's a really interesting find that's lying right on the top, and that's actually a lump of flint. It's been worked into that sort of shape. I may be wrong, but I think this is the striker from an exceptionally old rifle that would fire musket balls. This would strike down, ignite the gunpowder, and fire the ball. Or it could be something totally different. No doubt somebody out there will know exactly what this is, but it's definitely a worked piece of flint. I think it's from an old rifle, but please let me know what it is, because I, I'm not sure. What the holy hell is that? Like a swivelly thing to hang your keys on or something, I don't know, or something off a dog collar or something. God knows. I'm back where I started now. It's approximately three hours since I came out. So I've had a three hour hunt in one field. And I've managed to find two silver coins and possibly the flint from a flintlock pistol or rifle. Um, I'm waiting for somebody to confirm that though. So please let me know exactly what that is. A few crappy coins. Um, but the best ones, the silver ones, were right on the top. Um, so don't think for one minute that just because I've spent 1200 quid on a metal detector that that allows me to find all sorts of wonderful things. It doesn't. Those two silver coins could have quite easily be found with a really cheap metal detector. An entry level one if you like. Obviously having something like this allows me to get way down in pasture and that gives me a good advantage over the cheaper metal detectors but in this situation when the field has been newly ploughed and harrowed, rolled, seeded, whatever basically when it's been turned over a lot of the great stuff is right on the top so I'm going to go home now get those coins cleaned up well the silver ones anyway I'm not going to bother with the other two or three or four copper ones they're knackered so I'll get those cleaned up and you'll see the pictures Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, check out my others. I've got a playlist on my channel. There's dozens and dozens of metal detecting videos, finding all sorts of things. There's also a worldwide metal detecting finds series where people send me short clips of things they've found and I've 
compile them together in a in a video once every week two weeks a month whenever I get about 10 entries I bang out another video I think there's probably seven or eight at the minute but they're ongoing so if you found anything great yourself send it to me and I'll include you in one of those videos if you're feeling particularly generous click the like button and subscribe God, it's so cold. My hands aren't working properly. My lips aren't working properly. So forgive me if you can't understand some of my words. Although it started out very nice, the sun rapidly went in and it's freezing cold. Absolutely freezing. God bless England. Um, I'm not sure, but I think that's possibly a striker from a very old musket rifle. Musket gun? What do you call them? I may be wrong, but I think that is an old, a really old striker from a ex from a. Yeah. Hmm. It's not a keeper. First dig of the day yields. Oh, get out! Damn it! There's something in there somewhere. <laughs> 